welcome to another edition of Pedaling Downhill, where we are once again at Thunder Mountain, and unfortunately, once again without Krista. But it's an ESC race weekend, so we're out here sneaking out on a Friday to check out some of the upgrades that they made to the Schist Trail, which is one of the trails that they'll be racing, along with some other stuff that's going on in the mountain this weekend before it gets super busy on race day Sunday. Practice day Saturday also gets quite busy, so Friday's the day to come if you're coming on a race day weekend. So let's get on up there to the mountain and see what's going on. Ooh, puddles. Wasn't expecting puddles. Connor stopped me and told me that Unfortunately, they're not gonna open the schist. They're gonna let it sit closed on Friday and open it for practice on Saturday because it's a little soft in the new sections and you don't want it to get torn up before the race too bad. Figure we might as well take advantage of a run on cat and mouse with no one in front of us. Getting better at this corner. Still break going into it, but not as hard. Same with this one. Coming up on our first mouse. Another mouse. Hey, mousey, mousey. No worries. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Have a good ride. That was super nice. Appreciate that. Yeah, dude. Let's go. All right, y'all, that does it for lap one. Let's get up there for lap two. As you can see, it's not super busy. So I'm still the only one loading up right now. Thank you guys, appreciate you. All right, because the shift is closed, we're gonna head over to the Enduro stuff off the back of the property. That's gonna be a part of the Enduro race. We never show you guys these trails, so I figured we might as well give you a glimpse today. Looking for oil can and Silverdale. Gonna keep on following those red arrows. Who knows, we may end up catching a glimpse of the trail crew out here. Matan said they were gonna be out here doing some work. All right, this says Farmstead. So we're gonna ride this. Okay. I believe this is the start of it. We are out here back behind the solar farm, looking for the enduro trails for the enduro race. We don't ride these very often. Looking for oil cans, silver dough, and wilderness. Let's see what we find. Wait, that's, there's an ESC sign right there. I wonder if that's it. Oh, well, I don't see a trail sign, but I do see that. Definitely have not ridden this, for sure. Hey, that just looped us around, did it not? No, no it didn't. I don't think it did, did it? It took me right back. It fucking did. This shit's confusing as hell. 
we have again found ourselves back at the place we originally thought was the start. Must be the start. Process of very thorough, very, very thorough elimination. Here we are. Alrighty, I believe this may be the start of the enduro. I'm not sure. <laughs> I have no clue. There is brace tape. That's a good start. Usually means something. So cool when we stuff back here. Ooh, this was worth looking for. Outer line there. Down through some loam here. Bank off that corner. Oh, here comes another turn. Cool roll slash drop. Probably either or. Depending on how fast you're going, how familiar you are with that spot. Careful of that root there. Very off camber on that part where you take a lot of weight off your front wheel. Wow. Yeah, dude. Okay. That's just an easy roll. It just looks funny. Okay, here we go. Oh shit, what's up guys? How's it, how's it going? Ooh. That was cool, we got to see some of the loamy stuff. It is gonna be pretty wild too, that section they're working on right now is a really sweet double roll. It's gonna be quite technical. They're still working on the exit, so I'm not really 100% sure what that's gonna end up looking like. Had to go check it out when we're done with it. It is for the race on Sunday, so I'm guessing it'll be done today, and then they'll open it, open it for everybody to ride. Practice either later today or tomorrow at the latest. Told me to look for sugar line and a zip line going overhead and my best bet is to just hike up out oh, cool roll so otherwise i'm gonna have to do a lot of climbing so that's pretty much what wilderness roll is or wilderness run it's just a lot of xc but i'm not trying to do a lot of xc today okay is this the spot yep I think this is the, the climb up. So I gotta say thank you to Matan for telling me about this shortcut that gets you back up to uh, Sugar Line. So that way I didn't have to do the entire wilderness pedal. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. Let's do a little Harold's. Fun transition out of there. A little bit of the enduro trails out to a little sugar line, and then some Harold's blend. Not in love with these new shoes that I got this year. Frank Brothers Compound, it doesn't seem to be grippy. The material seems to be more stiff than supple, so it doesn't want to hook the pins. And the material itself, because of the, like, I guess you would say the durometer of the rubber, it just chunks off. So, durability is not that great either. 
I just realized this is gonna force me to have to make a Harold's Blend transition for a name. Glad you guys are enjoying those, making them. Not so much fun. I'm not an animator by trade. More of a camera guy and an editor, but I know how to keyframe some stuff, so here we go. We'll get it figured out. Ooh, didn't blow out that turn this time. Remembering, getting better. Small improvements, sometimes you gotta celebrate those too. Some days that's all you get. Right, let's do a little sugar line now. Why not? It's not something we ride for you guys very often. Stump jump here on the left. It is a little abrupt on the approach and the takeoff of it, but it's not that bad. You don't have to hit it going fast. In fact, I wouldn't suggest it. Oh my God, pedaling downhill. Hey! I'm in too easy of a gear. It's one of the downsides of the axis shifter is that the throw on it's so easy to get it to change gears that you can't do it when you're going really fast and chunky stuff. Because if you do, it might change too many gears. Usually I try to wait. Take our favorite powder blue over the back of Shack Run. I really enjoyed this ever since I found powder blue last year. Something I had never tried before. I realize it's a lot of fun. And it's a zippier way to get over to lower back of shaft if you want. That's the best I've run through that since I hit that tree that one time. Feeling better. Body's starting to feel a little bit better. My knee is still, it's still jelly inside, I feel. But it is what it is. You ready? All right, here we go. You want to finish out on Hollywood or you want to do the rest of the ground? I don't know, whatever you want to do. I'll be in Hollywood yet. Let's do it. Might as well jump in the deep end. Here we go. Start from the twisty bridge down today. Slowed down the rebound on my rear shock this week, so I'm still kind of feeling that out. Feels better though. I don't have those moments where the bike feels like it's trying to outkick me from the rear. There we go. So yeah, man. You racing tomorrow? Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. All right, Long John. So there's supposed to be some new bits, some new loamy bits, right around the area where I crashed too. So a sweet little memorial to that, I guess. Check it out. Okay, they didn't tape off the line that I normally see. I thought maybe they would. Oh, great, big mud puddle right before this weird roll. Sweet. left. This is where we messed up with Jerry last week and I didn't go the right way. And this must be the new stuff. 
Yep, it's definitely new. Here. Sweet little catch burn right there. I'm guessing it's left. And then we come back down. Boom. That spot's gonna get weird as the day goes on. A little wet pit there is gonna get bigger for sure. Woo. Funky little spot right there I found. <laughs> There's a rock hiding down in there and it is slick. There's a couple of sniper rocks in there. Oh boy, somebody's gonna have some moments on that trail, I can bet you. Taking a slight deviation off of Lone Star over here to the 27.5 drop. And that'll put us right back down onto Lone Star. Right here. Woo! It's a spicy drop. This section of Lone Star has gotten bigger. The holes in the pits. And because I don't feel like doing all the pedaling that the lower Lone Star requires, we're gonna jump off of that over here onto Cat and Mouse. Because we're not race practicing. Getting better at that. Was one feature with Will. I still had this in my pocket and we started ripping. Whoops. Yeah, dude, I forgot it was there. You like that uh, gap I set like Yeah. That? Yeah, I almost accidentally follow you into it not going fast enough. I was just watching you. I, see, I get mesmerized on your back tire when I ride with you. And all of a sudden I saw it leave the ground and I went, uh oh. <laughs> Turn. gonna gap it. Boom! Oh, just caught it. Woo! <laughs> I did that thing. I did that thing where I follow Will too fast in the thing, but I'm not going as fast as him, so I landed very awkwardly into the drop pit. <laughs> oh, dude. I did it again. Literally, I do that thing. I just, I, I know, that, but I was so glued to watching you miss it, I was like, Fuck, I'm going too fast. I landed right in the middle of the pit. I overshot the whole landing. That felt terrible. Woo! All right, that's gonna do it for our day filming out here at Thunder. It was an awesome day. Unfortunately, we couldn't ride the shift. They had the upper portion of that closed because it was loamy for the race practice tomorrow. So we're gonna come back tomorrow. I'm gonna get out there and try and get a lap on that. If I do, it'll be somewhere in the video. And if I didn't, well, then we'll just have to wait for another trip. The next day. New schist downhill entrance, at least for the race.
that's why Sleeping Jake's is close today. I wondered. Alright. Okay. Big hole. Big hole. Oh, this section. <laughs> take the leaning line, because that's the one I always take. It's good to see that they left that open for me. Real racers aren't gonna take that one. This is all different. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Definitely different. Okay. And then here's where brake racers won't be taking a break, but I will. <laughs> Pedal. Not the line. <laughs> Just as schisty as I remember with some new stuff mixed in. Holy fuck the lines today, you guys. They are for real. Goddamn. Almost blew my left hand right off the grip there. That would have been unpleasant. Oh shit. My phone just fell out of my pocket. Um, what the fuck? Like there's a hole. I'm holding onto my phone in my right hand right now, trying to ride. What are you doing, dumbass? I caught it as it was falling out of the bottom of my pocket. Shit. Yeah, right there. What the fuck? That's an awkward lap. Now I gotta figure out what the hell I'm gonna do with it. Hop. What the 
next one. Here we go. <laughs> Little nose heavy didn't kick into that one. There we go. There we go. Getting more comfortable with that right side. There's one. That was a thing. All right. Looks like the camera made it all the way to the bottom. Got to catch a glimpse of both of the lift lines that are extremely long, so you can kind of see what it's like on a Saturday versus the yesterday footage on a Friday. If you know ESC is coming to a mountain near you that you enjoy going to and you're not racing, probably should avoid it that Saturday and that Sunday. Just saying, the Friday before, you can probably get away with it, but just to, you know, a little bit of a tip. Steer clear of the race weekends. Unless you're into watching, then go, go nuts. Had fun, saw the new stuff on the Enduro side, saw the new stuff over on Long John. Very cool, super loamy. Come on up here, check it out yourself, but maybe wait till after the race is gone because it brings a lot of people up here. But that's your choice. I'll be here tomorrow, but we're going somewhere else on Sunday because the race crowd is just a little bit too much for us. So you know what we like to say, get off that couch, get out of your chair, get on your bike, and go ride it somewhere. Peace out, you guys. Let's get that energy drink over here at the Cold River. If you don't know about the Cold River, that's the Cold River. There's also a brewery that has been added to it. Come check them out, you guys. Restricted area, huh? Something tells me not as restricted. Hey, dude. Hey, what, what's the close to the general public, Corey? Right? You racing today? Yeah. You see you the numbers okay, and all? Okay. <laughs> Get out of here before I. It's down in the car. <laughs> It's hanging on the wall at home from four years ago. <laughs> That's where it's at. Oh, dude. Yeah, dude, look at this parking lot. It's a fucking mob. Yesterday, it wasn't even half as full. Today, all the way to the back and then some. Dude, it's wild. Seriously, a lot of people here today. So you know what we like to say, get out of So you know what we like <laughs> So you know what we like to say, get off that couch, get out of your chair, get on your bike, and go ride it somewhere.